Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, we're going to be showing you how to get a secret bounty in Rhodes. This is thanks to a comment left by somebody on one of my videos. Now, I wish I could say their actual name, but I can't seem to find the comment again. It was a few days ago, and I've only just gotten the time to do this. But thank you so much for the tip. I greatly appreciate it. And if I end up being able to find it, for some reason, the search function for comments isn't really working uh, for my channel right now. I don't know why but it's been an issue the past couple weeks but regardless thank you so much for this tip now this is a secret bounty and you have to do something very specific to be able to unlock it and i'm curious if there's more of these secret bounties available in the game because we do have like a lackluster of bounties and i really wish there was more i'm hoping at some point maybe we get some kind of single player bounty update because in a world like this you think more people would be committing crimes and be able to collect more bounties i'd be okay if they didn't have like all the amazing voice acting and everything but just being able to collect bounties would be fun now you're gonna go to this little shack just south of braithwaite manor you can see it's the old harry fen and it's just southeast of braithwaite manor and this is where we need to go now I'm pretty sure I had been in this building before, but clearly I missed everything that was in here. I don't know what was going on. But regardless, there's a couple things that we want to find in here. First and foremost, you're going to go into this room with the chains. This is pretty bad. You know, something dark and terrible has happened here. But when you walk here, you're going to have to inspect the floorboard. And you can see there's something under the floorboard right there. Grab this bad boy. Pick it up. What are you doing? Oh god, always drunk. Go home, John. You're what are you doing? That oh my god. <laughs> he had to dance a little bit before picking this up. So we got a photograph here. A family photograph. A document. So we got uh, three people. Now I don't know if there's any writing. No, there's no writing on it. Okay. Interesting. Now we don't exactly know who any of these people are. But we're gonna find out. Maybe. I haven't done this storyline yet, so this is all going to be a little bit of a surprise to me. And I'm quite excited about this, because I love the single-player game so much. I didn't want... I want the newspaper scrap. There we go. Now, you need both of these items to unlock the bounty. You might only need the newspaper scrap, actually. But anyways, let's go ahead and read this. So, Slave Catcher Newspaper Scrap. $200 reward. Ran away from the subscriber on the night of August 17th. A man who calls himself Curtis Royal. He is stoutly made, about 27 years of age, and 7 feet 9 inches in height. He wears his hair combed up, and his body are several old marks of the whip. His countenance is rather sullen, and when spoken to, he answers quickly. I'll give a reward of $200 for the apprehension and return of said boy to the Rhodes Jail or my property at Shady Bell, Scarlet Meadows, and the state of Le Moyne. Joseph Charlesworth, April 28th, 1859. So obviously, this was quite a while ago, but this does unlock a specific bounty. Why am I... Is there somebody out there? Am I about to get panthered or something? Or is this an actual person? What's oh, gone? Oh, it must have been a snake. Okay, because my horse is gone. Come here, horse. Good horsey. So now all we need to do is head to Rhodes, and we'll have a new bounty poster um, inside the train station. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for the support on the Red Dead Redemption 2 series. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm going to be playing a lot more single player until we get some of the Red Dead Redemption 2 online updates. And that's because there really just isn't a lot of content in online right now. And we know that employees from Rockstar, when they were prompted to do open interviews, have stated that the release for online was basically an, an impossible deadline, and they've been forced to release it in a beta. We don't have anywhere near the story. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but when you reach the end of the story in online, you can tell there's a lot more to be had there. We don't have the majority of the content that we've been promised, which is the heists, robberies and bounties and stuff like that the bounty system isn't even in the game like at all which uh, is going to be a source of income by being able to you know put up bounties on other players and hunt down those bounties when people do stupid things so i'm excited for the future of red dead redemption 2 online but right now there is there's a lot of things i'm concerned with 
and a lot of you have, may have seen my economy video and i'm not fully concerned with the economy because of all the things we know that's supposed to be coming and you make a lot of money in gold bars from the story so i do have a feeling once we have the full story and you do both the honorable and dishonorable missions that getting money in that game is not going to be difficult and i have way more reasons than that i have a lot of discussions in the online but regard or when i'm streaming but regardless um there's a lack of content and it's a large open world that seems very very empty and that is what i'm really concerned about but a hopefully as morning, we get team. updates that will be fixed but regardless we're gonna be playing some more single player your calm your tatas Hello. there sir we got to get this bounty what do we got here we've got a 35 dollar reward for robbie laidlaw inspect this bad boy Sir, good morning thinking of going after them are you I wager you're more than up to it all right we got creepy voice guy talking to us so uh for arrest or detention and presentation to an officer last seen in the southern region of scarlet meadows the above sketch is a good likeness of Laidlaw, who is blind in his left eye. He is thought to be 5 feet, 9 inches, writes a poor hand, and has very little education. Wanted for committing theft and fraud, suspect of assault on a deputy. Wire all communications to H. Thomas Rhodes Sheriff Office. Go ahead and put that away. And let's see where he is on the map. Oh. Pretty much down where we just were. He's probably going to be inside of that house. God, well, this just came out of nowhere, didn't it? <laughs> Damn the Moan Raiders! Oh God! We should take one hostage. Oh God! Get down, buddy! Jesus! All right. That was almost really, really bad. I'm sitting here thinking like, man, I need to loot all these guys for some treasure maps, but we're not playing them online, so. It's weird switching back and forth. The one thing I do like about online right now is that when you, basically any time you assign a weapon, it actually stays, which it doesn't on single player. And it's infuriating when you switch from online back to single player and you go to do something and you suddenly don't have all of your weapons equipped anymore. Oh man. But we do have a couple more bounties to do in this game, which I thoroughly enjoy. We've got robberies, plenty of secrets to still show that I haven't gotten to yet in the game. Uh, but let's see how terrible this is gonna be over here. Um, and I do have a new save, which is back in Chapter 2. And there's a lot of these Stranger Danger missions that I didn't get to actually record because we played them during live streams. Now, if you guys would like to see, you know, a non-live streamy gameplay of these without having to watch, like, a five-hour live stream, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to replay this. Some that I actually just really loved and would definitely not mind playing again. Rocate. Lo rocate. Locate. Robbie Layla. He's definitely going to be in the house, but we don't have any any HPs right now. If we're going to be battling a whole bunch of douche canoes. We're definitely going to need the HP. Oh, yeah. Definitely knew he was going to be in the shack. I wonder if we're going to find out basically who... Uh, hello? Uh -oh. What's going on in here? You're gonna come out and check. Damn it. Let me up. Let me up. Go to sleep, fool. Come on, bro. bro. Go to sleep. Man, I got had an iron jaw. Hey, maker, them like four times. How far did he run away? So we definitely want to capture this guy alive. Come on, horse. Don't do me like this, man. There we go. Here we go, boy. Another thing. Oh, he's hiding in like. Oh, that's smart. All right. He's in this big circle, huh? How big is this circle? Okay, it's not terribly big. Yep, there he is. Well, 
got him. Damn, he just tried to fire bottle me in the field. What an ass. Oh, you're gonna hang. <laughs> Come on. At least I hope he's gonna hang. Sometimes they're pretty funny. I, as terrible as it sounds, especially when you when you um, watch the Skinners hang. The uh, civilians okay. were particularly excited sure. about that. So we haven't hit a tree, which is pretty nice. Oh, shut up! Wait, why are you tying laundry? Unless it's like a laundry bag, I guess that makes more sense. So that was probably one of the easier bounties that we've had to get so far. Just the bloody worst. Absolutely terrible, man. It's embarrassing getting caught by you. You wee little bovac. You dribble of fish. You monkey's arse. <laughs> At least this guy's uh, not as douchey as all. Well, so tell me, you like pornography, what? lad? You know. Oh, I didn't get to hear what he was going to say. I was curious what he was going to say about the nude images. I don't know where he was going with that. I should have ran a little bit slower because I think it's basically everything is scripted for a certain amount of time. Oh, don't you talk shit about my horse. Who do you think you are? <laughs> I should make my horse poop on him. Horse, do you have to poop? I'll show you what smells like ass. Come on. You're just the worst. Fry me a river. Looks like he pooped all over himself. Here's hey there, Scotsman. Sheriff. Nearly torched me, but I got him. Oh dear Mr. Laidlaw. That is gonna count against you. Cells there for him. I'll have none of that. I came peacefully. Came like peacefully, my did. ass. Yeah, you stay there tied up. Nice. Where's my money at, homie? Bounty's the same whether you was nearly inflamed or not. I'm well, that's afraid. some shit. I'll take it. If you'll take. I didn't do nothing to that man. Thirty-five bucks, Robbie I Laidlaw. I doubt you'll find too many more posters going up in the station house, sir. Reckon Rhodes has reached the end of that long road to respectability. Man. Finally, our kind has to stick together. Fine. Are your people from the Highlands or the low shit? <laughs> it's folks like you that brought this it's, it's, it's Sometimes it's funny listening to their conversations back and forth. But yeah, so that is the last bounty that you can get in Rhodes, which, you know, it's kind of unfortunate. I really wish we would get some kind of update that would um, add more bounties and stuff like that. Or even robberies, like stagecoach robberies, easy stuff like that. Because it's fun to do. And it would prolong the single player experience just a little bit longer. I have mentioned in the past I'd love to see a Sadie DLC. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. That is the secret bounty you can get in Rhodes. I hope you all enjoyed it. We're going to be helping out the Tumbleweed Sheriff here soon and doing more of those bounties. We've got plenty of secrets to still show. And I will see you all in the next one.